If you haven't checked out the Jamaicans.com interview by Xavier Murphy, what it's like being Jamaican on Saipan, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out. Uh, this video is in response to some of the feedback and questions uh, that I received from that interview. So this is a compilation of everything that I've been doing here on Saipan since I arrived, all the books I've written, all the websites I've created, all the projects I've been involved in. Um, as well as the campaigns and fundraising, that sort of thing. But before we get started, let me um, take care of a few business items. In the video with Xavier, I mispronounced the word Tautamona, which is Chamorro for ancient spirits, the people before us. You can check out guampedia.com for more information on that. Secondly, um, as I was uh, corrected, Chamorro and Carolinian are in fact taught in the school system here on Saipan up until middle school. And then, for those who also asked, I am a Jamaican citizen. Here is my Jamaican Caribbean community passport. This is the only passport I have. I'll also mention some of the schools I've been to. I mentioned Pembroke Hall Primary School in Jamaica. Then there is St. Pascal Bailon Elementary School in New York, uh, Springfield Gardens High School, and Columbia University. So with that said, let's get started. One of the first things I started doing was writing books here on Saipan. Uh, first one is Jamaican on Saipan about my escape from America and my first year or so of life here on Saipan. Next was Chicken Feathers and Garlic Skin, the only account of what it was like to be a garment factory worker, a Chinese garment factory worker here on Saipan. The book uh, got a lot of recognition and was even used in a textbook in France. Uh, next is Saipan Living. For those who are interested in relocating to Saipan, they want to know what the cost of living is, uh, what the daily life is, what expenses, rent, uh, that sort of thing. business on Saipan, a little out of date now, but it uh, has information on setting up a business here on Saipan. Saipan Now, a collection of full-color photographs of every aspect of life and tourism and culture and history here on Saipan, very popular also. There's something about Saipan, a visitor's guide to fantastic facts, tantalizing trivia, startling statistics, dramatic diaries, and hair-raising history from America's most colorful island territory. There's a lot of unique things about the CNMI uh, that's included. Now, those of us here on Saipan have a different story to tell about the Amelia Earhart disappearance. So once I give tours to my clients, uh, taking them to certain locations that are uh, significant for the uh, Amelia Earhart story. Yeah, but essentially they were spying, they were spying. For, <laughs> for Japan, right. And that was, uh, that was revealed in that book. Also had a chance to write uh, a book with uh, Lloyd Glick, a 95-year-old veteran of the Battle of Saipan. Now, I've also been creating a lot of websites. For many years, there wasn't a lot of information on the internet on Saipan. So I created We Love Saipan, which had testimonials from various residents as well as tourists about what they liked about living here on Saipan. And those are still up. You can check that out and enjoy some of the people who've uh, come and gone. Saipan Living, the website for the book of the same name. So this has a little bit more information to help you navigate the process of relocating to the island of Saipan or Tinian or Rota. Saipan Writers, Saipan Blue, cnmistrong.com, Discover Saipan, that's my tour website. Discover Pagan, my adventure going up to that northern island. Pacific Island Co-op for vegetarians and vegans and those interested in healthy living. MarianaMonument.com, 
Jamaican on Saipan, the website for the book of the same name, saipanfactorygirl.com. There's also olamwayband.com, Bugleboy Glick, Reza Ramos Books, and This Baby Can Speak, featuring books by Dr. John Joyner. I've also created tour apps, mobile apps, for people who might not be able to uh, make it all the way to Saipan, but they can uh, virtually experience Saipan, Tinian, and soon Rota on their mobile phone. So this documents and chronicles the tours that I typically give for both those islands, Saipan and Tinian. They're available on the Google Play Store. You can search for Discover Saipan Waysides or Discover Tinian Waysides. I've also created some t-shirts, designs uh, that you can get on t-shirts and mugs and clocks and various other items through Redbubble. Over the years, I've done a lot of workshops here on Saipan. Starting way back when I first came to the island, this was one at PIC, Pacific Island Club. This section is a bit long, but uh, I wanted to document as many of the workshops that I could that were recorded. Not all of them were recorded, but these I was able to find photos and some videos going way back to 2006. This was at Northern Marianas College. This was focused on helping people discover what their passions were and then figuring out ways to create a business around it. I've done workshops on Guam, that was the Guam Navy Hospital here on Saipan. as well as Tinian. I don't have a speech prepared. What I'd like to do is have a simple conversation where you can participate and ask some of the questions that are on your mind so that we can share some ideas that can help you be more productive, prioritize your time. This was one for the Chamber of Commerce. Also had a chance to work with some other entrepreneurs and great presenters. So was a workshop I did or a presentation I did with Tony Pellegrino, serial entrepreneur here on Saipan. Northern Marianas College again for the students. No more. Northern Marianas Trades Institute, now known as the Tech Technical Institute. First of all, you could have said no offense, but you could have said no. But that I know that it's very important to have somebody who is willing to take a chance, be adventurous, be brave, and that's I also started doing a series of writers workshops. I discovered that there's a lot of there are a lot of untold stories here on Saipan and uh, a lot of individuals who are aspiring writers. Uh, so these workshops were designed to simplify the process of creating and publishing and promoting one's work. So I was able to help a few people publish their books here on Saipan. A couple people of note, Riza Ramos published three books after attending the workshops. Dr. John Joyner as well. 
and even Marianas Variety editor Zaldi Dandan had some books sitting in his drawer or in his uh, uh, files for years and then was moved to action by one of the workshops he attended at the library. Also had some workshops at the Northern Marianas International School. Thanks to John Joyner for helping to organize those and thanks to the school for allowing me to use their facilities. Yep, ready, smile. And people from all walks of life, uh, lawyers and teachers and educators and students attend the workshops. I to know that uh, through One, him. Two, One, two. Also been to Tinian to do a workshop there. Okay, now one, two. Thank you. One, two, three. Cool, cool. Been to Guam as well. Thanks to Dave Luhan for use of the facilities at the DNA building. All right, so you've just attended the workshop. Uh, what are your thoughts so far? The best $10 ever spent in a long time. <laughs> That's All right. an awesome workshop. And we were featured in the Pacific Daily News as well. Thanks to everyone who attended. Back to Saipan, more writers' workshops, and I always donate at least 20% of the proceeds to the library, no matter how small it, it might be. First, you'll put them, just make a complete brainstorm of everything that comes to mind, and then last workshop I did was in 2020, right uh, before the lockdown on the pandemic. Even ge geography to show you, like, you know, when, uh, where around the world is selling as well. Okay, and then each month, about the 21st, you'll get... Over the years, I've also done some school appearances. A lot of those were not photographed or filmed so as not to be too intrusive on the kids and their privacy. Thanks to Linda Birmingham for, I think, what was my first visit, school visit to Hopwood. As a vegan and somewhat of a health fanatic, I was pleased to find some people here on Saipan of like mind, so I started a food co-op and buying group. We share information, <laughs> um, share the ground, you have to uh, constantly um, move it. Otherwise group buying very, very food quickly. demos so you have to, keep your to eye help on. live a healthier life here on Saipan. And thanks to Lisa Haxkelo for organizing flavor. some of the cooking demos that I've done at <laughs> What is this? That's Malanga. I've also done some informal things at people's homes and apartments. For a little bit longer. Oh. Oh, you taste the beans? Mm -hmm. So everything, almost everything is raw. This is all raw, nothing cooked. Nice, nice. And the group still exists. We haven't met in a while, but um, 
are still sharing information with new folks who come on island who are interested in eating a little healthier, adopting a more natural lifestyle. One, two. For a few years, every week I wrote a news column for the Saipan Tribune, thanks to J.V. Velahera. I interviewed Saipanpreneurs, business owners, craftspeople, farmers, restaurant owners, and um, writers and video producers every week for the Tribune. I've also appeared on several documentaries talking about Saipan. Ministered by the U.S. as a territory or colony since the end of World War II. You are in the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. There are 15 islands to this chain. The weather. Goodrich knows all too well. We're living here in paradise. You expect a, a certain storms every now and then. So it's not something that people worry about, you know, every day of their lives. It's something that you keep an eye on and you follow the weather reports. And a super typhoon slams into Saipan, battering buildings with 180 miles per hour winds. I don't think I ever experienced that terror in my life. Also was interviewed by Douglas Mack for the Not Quite States of America. And most recently, for the Jamaicans.com website. And today in Jamaicans to the world, I talked to Walt Goodrich, a Jamaican living in Saipan. Called Kellogrin. So it's a chicken Kellogrin, and it's a way, a, a way they spice it. And again, I'm sorry, don't ask me how. But it's very popular. A lot of the restaurants, when they do have tomorrow restaurants here, people will go and ask for the fish Kellogrin or the chicken Kellogrin. So I also had a unique chance to go to Pagan. I organized a trip for some researchers, some scientists who are studying the seismic activity on the island. Now passing Anataha. So I got to tag along. Okay. It would have been dark already, yeah. Very interesting and despite what you may have heard at the time, Pagan is was not uninhabited. At the time that I went there, there were actually seven people living on the island. And I got a chance to interview them and see what their life is like. My name is Tyrant Tomara. I'm from Saipan. My name is Daniel Ogo. I'm originally from Saipan. My name is uh, Roman Costu Jr. And I'm from Saipan. My name is Santiago Costu. I'm from Pogba. My name is Christina Justino and I'm and that's actually one of the more popular videos on my YouTube channel. If you search YouTube for Pioneers on Pagan, you'll see some more info on that. But here are a few clips from my time there. I've also had a chance to give tours to people from all over the world who are interested in the beauty and the culture and the history of Saipan. We have a lot of war buffs who are interested One, in the battle of Saipan. As well as families and couples who are interested in experiencing something unique. Oh, he's writing an article. Well, he has interest in the war, but he's writing an article. As a unique tour for Lloyd Glick, Battle of Saipan veteran who was on the USS North Carolina. I've also had a chance to give tours to the children of the Battle of Saipan and Battle of Tinian veterans. Right. One, two. Yeah, we're good. Please. <laughs> Thanks to Brooke Wait. Nevitt for her assistance. There you go, got it? Yeah. One, two.
cruise ships are another exciting uh, type of tour that I do every year or so, every year, sometimes every two years, a cruise ship arrives on Saipan and I organize, get special guests. Now that year we had Lino Olapai, Carolinian elder who agreed to participate and share our culture um, with our guests. Also John Castro, who was able to share some Chamorro. Uh, this uh, is Hachiman Shrine yeah. Bell. Okay. He would ring the bell, clap two times, bow, clap one time. There have been filmmakers and documentarians box. who've come as well. This was a Korean filmmaker who was doing a, a program on the garment industry and life on Saipan as a garment factory worker. Professors visiting to learn more about the yeah, Pacific one. Island yeah, government about and Pacific mm -hmm. Island culture. I mentioned before my trip to Pagan, as I mentioned, it was for research. There were seismologists doing research on the volcanic activity on the island. This was Doug Mack in interviewing Lino as well as Chun Yu for his book. Music video producers wanting to film on the unique landscape and beautiful beaches of Saipan. This was a Korean uh, film crew. I helped them scout the location, various locations on the island for them to film their video. This was the producers of the La Mancha Media documentary. Another author, Lindsay Nash, who's interviewing locals, contract workers, elders, about Saipan, about CNMI culture. The message right after you. What do you do in Saipan? Another video producing crew. And thanks to China Travel Channel. Back to the weekend edition of KSPN2 News. Writers write, actually anyone with a story can write, especially in this day of the internet. Meet Walt Goodridge. With print on demand available online, it's easier than ever to get published. With 25 books already to his credit, author Walt Goodridge has taken his expertise to Tinian next week. Okay, on Friday, July 13th, this coming uh, Friday, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., we're going to be doing a free writer's workshop at the Tinian Public Library on the island of Tinian. And I'll be going through step by step the creative process, the publishing process, the marketing process to help people turn their ideas into a profitable book. Goodridge has valuable tips for anyone who wants to become a published writer. One of the first things that I tell people to do, if they have an idea for a book, they should definitely pursue that, that, that idea. But the first thing they should write down in their document or their notepad is why am I writing this book? That will help keep you focused. I'm writing this book because I have unique experience in spearfishing and I want to share it with the world because I've learned some things about spearfishing that no one else knows. So once you start the book, write down, I am writing this book because, and what you want people to get from it, why you're writing it, what makes your, your perspective unique. So that's step one that I would tell people to do. The world's Mary Kay Magstad has the story. Former garment factory worker Wang Chun Yu remembers what it was like when she first came to Saipan from China a decade ago, got her first factory job, 
and took her place in the factory dormitory. They said he wants a 99 sign in there. So what was it like growing up in Jamaica, as you said, uh, a, a black community? Um, how, do you, how, do, how was that different from what you perceived when you moved to the United States? It was a unique moment. As KSPN spoke with the ACCP committee in Susupi Village, the same area of a campsite during World War II. When the Japanese controlled these islands, the Chamorros and the Carolinians, the indigenous folks, were essentially treated as second class or third class citizens. So it's not too long ago that the, those roles actually applied here, that you had one group that was being deprived of its civil rights by, you know, the colonial uh, structure. So. After Typhoon U2 ravaged the island, I did what I could to help a few people by starting up a GoFundMe campaign. I was able to at least help a few folks put a few dollars in their pockets to help with their recovery, a small amount. I don't know, but everything is done. This is our new group already. There's many business owner. <laughs> Randy Vicente. So were you here during the during the time? I think now we're building. I went now oh, okay. because I can feel that it's getting stronger. Yeah. Crayola crayons. For the first time in more than 100 years, Crayola is retiring a color from its box of crayons, and they're holding an online competition to name a new color of blue that they're adding to the box. And there's a campaign on change.org to make that new color, Saipan Blue. Local white Walt J. Goodridge is the man behind the campaign to learn more about Saipan Blue and how you can get it in your next cram box. Just One of the early movements that we started uh, that was part of the Wheel of Saipan movement was a blogger movement. At the time, a lot of people were just getting into blogging and Saipan blogger Angelo Villagomez helped push that movement forward and got more people involved in sharing their thoughts, finding their blog voice, and establishing a unique community of writers and bloggers here on the island. We met several times, usually at Java Joe's, to share ideas and encourage people and explain some of the technical aspects of blogging on Blogger or WordPress. We had everyone from teachers to students to doctors and lawyers. And uh, one of the more uh, unique Movements and campaigns started <laughs> nah, deeper, through deeper, Sinta right. Kaipat and some early uh, believers in the concept of the beautified CNMI and I participated yeah, in that. Friends of the Mariana Monument. Will be much I of the Mariana volunteered church. every now and then as much as I could. The side of the deepest point on Earth. The, behind the scenes. And the surrounding arc of undersea volcano and thermal vents. This unique geological region is more than five times longer than the Grand Canyon. It is deeper than Mount Everest is tall. It supports life in some of the harshest conditions imaginable. A fascinating array of species survive amid hydrogen emitting volcanoes. Hydrothermal deaths. And scientists, and I want to thank the scientists who have joined us today. 
believe extreme conditions like these could have been the first incubators of life on Earth. As further research is conducted in these depths, we'll learn more about life at the bottom of the sea and about the history of our planet. The other major features of the new monument are the majestic coral reefs off the coast of the upper three islands in the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. These islands, some 5,600 miles from California, are home to a striking diversity of marine life. And realism impelled me to admit that we still have a long, long way to go. But I think the important thing is that we are making progress. MLK Day was re-established here in the CNMI in 2006. First guest speaker was Dean Cynthia Nance. This was also the first year for the essay contest. The burning of our churches will not deter us. The bombing of our homes will not dissuade us. We are on the move now. The beating and killing of white clergy men will not deter us. That among me are life, liberty, and the pursuit of heaven, for my father's died. Land of the pilgrims cry. Dorothea, Friend Catherine, the judging the entrance for the essay contest. We had a reenactment of a protest march through Garapan. Chief Cop at the time, Rebecca Warfield. It was a very unique event being the first commemoration after the enactment of the legislation just the year before. you want to do. Okay, I want to say that mom brought me out here on the cliff <laughs> and I have a broken toenail. It's terrible. <laughs> Then I took the Nance to see oh, you're kidding. a site that she has never, that she would never see otherwise. Oh. No, it's not that steep. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's not. It's not steeper than than the one we did before. And over the years, we've had other guests as well. We've had Marsha Rose Joyner, Judge Helen Shores Lee. Opinion, there is a mean spirited atmosphere. 
But Bill I don't Grimmett want you to know right now even had that we don't care what the law say. You always know that you are somebody. We even had John Lewis by video. And realism impelled me to admit that we still have a long, long way to go. But I think the important thing is that we are making progress. Thanks for watching all the way till the end. Uh, that is a video resume of all my accomplishments here on Saipan. And if you'd like to learn more, you can check out the YouTube channel, uh, the Discover Saipan YouTube channel. Or if you'd like to follow my adventures in China, Singapore, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, you can check out the JamaicanInChina.com blog and the Jamaican in China YouTube channel. Thanks. Saipan.com and sign up to the mailing list. I will send you a free PDF copy of the full Saipan Now uh, photo adventure, which includes full color photographs of life here on Saipan, history, culture, school, everything. And, or if you prefer, I'll send you a copy of uh, Jamaican on Saipan PDF copy, ebook copy that chronicles my escape from America and my first uh, year or so of life here on Saipan. So either one of those, go to bestofsaipan.com, click to join the mailing list, and in the section where it asks, how did you find out about this, just put uh, that you want your free copy of Jamaica on Saipan or your free copy of Saipan now, and I'll get that out to you. So thanks again for sticking it out through the, till the end, and I'll talk to you next time.